The network trace file here, A7 net sh, is a net shell trace file captured using a Windows net shell trace command. And it's saved in a format that's not actually supported by Wireshark. So as you can see, we don't get the normal green square around the data file when we move Wireshark above it. And if we let go, nothing actually happens. So seemingly we're a bit stuck here because Wireshark doesn't support Netshell Trace. But Wireshark has an additional feature called Transformers. So what I'm going to do is just quickly open up the Transformers window. And it appears over here on the right, as you can see. We're going to define a new Transformer. The Transformer is called Babel. And you'll find this actually in the install directory for Workbench. And there it is. So we add the tool. Now we have to add a profile for that tool. And this profile is going to be called ETL to PCAP NG. The arguments are quite simple. We have an input parameter, which I've mistakenly put as an output parameter. We have an input parameter and we have an output parameter. The input extension type is ETL. The output extension type is PCAPNG. We have to add, a prof uh, add the arguments here. So indeed percent one is the input file which is an etl file and then we need another one which is percent two which is the output file and that's a pcap ng file these are just descriptions and actually you don't have to put these in but it's it's useful so we save that we add the transformer you can see it's now appeared over here in the transformer block now if i take wireshark and drag it onto this file you can see that we get this green outline to show everything's good and what's happening now is that in the background workbench is transforming the ETL file into a PCAP format and there we have it it opens quite normally now the next time we do that if we perform the same operation again what happens is it opens much more quickly because the transformed version is actually saved in a cache. So that saves some time.